beautiful dawns and golden sunsets are a magnificent spectacle. But if we could see them as what they are for many animals, they would be the moment that marks the start and the end of a day of hard work. Nature can be compared to a large building company where architects, surveyors, masons, and carpenters The first thing that happens at a construction site is digging. Animals offer us a range of digging systems on which present day machinery is based. Each kind of soil has its difficulties, so there are experts for each type of soil. On the beach, a builder is constantly fighting the sea. There's nothing worse in this job than having to fight against water and humidity. These crabs, however, have decided to live underground, right on the seashore. Underground living avoids many risks and offers a comfortable temperature. But this way of life is not for lazy people. The homes they dig fall in with each wave, so they have to repair them continuously. The crumbling goes on forever and digging in this fine sand is exhausting. Luckily, crabs have many legs, 10 legs, and two of them have become the ultimate tool, a serrated shovel that can move and dig a lot of sand in a very short time. At low tide, they can rest. It's the only moment when they can relate socially or feed. The ocean sets the workday for digging crabs in two six-hour shifts, with no weekends off, no summer vacation, and of course, the night shift is included in the payroll. In addition, there are no trade unions. They certainly have a right to be fed up. Sand is also the star of the desert. And here the grains of sand are even finer. And two hours after dawn, the heat has stolen all the humidity from the surface. Therefore, digging in hot sand requires a very complex and delicate system to carry out the work successfully. The desert gecko has been living on burning and slippery sand for so long that among many other things, it has learned to take its work calmly. Here, rushing around isn't efficient. Speedy or careless work only generates more sand slides. There are no waves, but the sand is so dry that it seems to be liquid. Besides, the outside temperature discourages any hard effort. This is a more painstaking job that requires some special tools. To perform such detailed work, you have to park the bulldozer and go back to the shovel. In this case, 
to some very small and well-designed shovels. Many swimming species count webs between their fingers among their evolutionary adaptations. In a place that is the complete opposite of water, the idea of some rowing fins is really efficient. Their purpose may be different, but the usage is very similar. In fact, what is this gecko doing? Is it swimming or digging? This expert has a tiny shovel on each hand and each foot. To use the four of them at the same time, the gecko needs to be perfectly synchronized. The systematic order in which the gecko moves its extremities when building its home is almost comical. However, its technique is most appropriate for the sand it's tunneling through. Each centimeter the gecko penetrates inside the dune is another centimeter that protects it from death. The only safe way for the gecko to escape the heat is to get underground. The safest and quietest place in the world. There are more living beings underground than you may think, and noisy neighbors are everywhere. This streamlined European wasp is of the Amophile genus. Don't be mistaken by its slender appearance. In fact, it's a great drilling engineer. In Spain, when summer begins, if you know the wasp's favorite sites, you can watch it working on the ground, looking for a soft and sandy area to build its nest there. The amophile wasp selects its site carefully. Its children will have to develop inside the crypt it's digging, away from temperature variations and hidden from any predators. The wasp is most vulnerable to attack at this time. It must work quickly to complete the gallery as fast as possible. The wasp hauls the loose earth in its jaws and scatters it around, like a prison camp escape movie, to prevent anyone from discovering its plan. Once the wasp has finished tunneling, it collects small pebbles and temporarily covers the entry. It's very careful. It may even scatter sticks and leaves to camouflage the door. 